So I joined in May, and September the 11th, 2001, was obviously um, a momentous and terrifying day. So 9-11 happened in the afternoon and happened on the show, so that sort of dominated everything. How did you feel coming off air that day? Well, it was my daughter's eighth birthday, and I knew that we had a birthday party lined up um, when I got home. But I was not really, you know, it was, a, when I think about it now, I think when we were doing the program, you respond because you're aware, you're aware that you have, it was one of those few moments, the whole of the network stops what it's doing and works towards whoever's on air. So there aren't a whole bunch of different programs, there's just one program. And suddenly you realise that everybody has realised what's happening. And so everything was feeding to, feeding into your show. So you just keep telling the story, saying what you're looking at on the monitors, talking to the reporters as they come up to you and just keep on trying to tell the story. As it got towards the end of the show, I looked through the glass and I could see uh, the controller, Bob Shen, and he was standing next to Jenny Abramsky, who was the head of radio. He was standing next to Greg Dyke, who was the director general. And they were all sort of gobsmacked and I, I you know staring at the monitor listening to the output and I, I remember thinking this you know the last couple of minutes I think were a shambles because I was starting to unwind um or unravel I think is a better word unravel, yeah. um and you know and then drive came on at four but for the most part you're carried on by the m momentum of saying what's happening explaining as far as you can repeating what's happening talking to the experts when they come on so that actually you were telling one story, it was a complicated story, but it, it had its own momentum.